There has been a series of unfortunate events in my life that have happened in rapid succession, and I'm at the point where I don't know whether to cry or to kill the small furry animals. First, my computer blew up. It went crack, and now it won't turn on, so everything I have is unavailable. Luckily, I had my old computer around. It's shit, but at least it's a computer, and I could access the internet. So until I repair my old computer, I won't be able to finish what I was working on. The prospect of going to the repair shop in town with my computer is also a horrifying thought. How do I get there? What if I can't explain what happened and the computer nerd behind the counter laughs at me and he says, my grandmother is a better computer than you, and then I'd shrivel up and melt and fall into the drain and then I wouldn't have a computer anymore. But before I can worry about that, I have to worry about paying this rent invoice that I have for the month that I wasn't even here in December. What do I even do with an invoice? It doesn't have instructions on it. It's just a load of numbers and words that don't mean anything. Why would you put an official document like an invoice and not have instructions on it? Why isn't that something they teach you in school? Isn't the whole point of school to prepare you for the drudgery that is real life? Why don't they teach you how to use a credit card or manage a bank account? I had to get my parents to tell me all that shit, and if I had never asked them about it, I would have never found out. I don't have my checkbook anyway, so I can't send this guy a check. Do I put money in an envelope and send it to him? I have no idea. I'll probably miss the deadline that isn't mentioned and, uh, and then get fined or thrown out onto the street and die. And then I'll also shrivel up and melt and fall into the drain and then I wouldn't have a computer anymore. So by this point I feel like making a video about how shitty everything is. But then I find that my camera is out of battery. So I think maybe I'll make it audio only but then a virus suddenly comes out of nowhere and corrupts my shitty computer that I'm now using. So everything starts freezing and I can't open Audacity and I can't open the internet. I can't even watch anime like I was planning to do. I can't go to Sony Vegas. I can't record anything in that. I can't do anything with my webcam, which also freezes, and I just, I, it's dead. I have to put my other computer to sleep. So now, two. They've got two dead computers, and I'm just, I'm, I don't know what to do anymore. There's just nothing I can do. I can't make a shitty video. I mean, luckily my camera got a bit of charge while I was fucking around with the virus, so I can film this, I guess, and, and now that's all, all there's left to do is to climb into this pile of clothing and hope that my life improves. This kind of pressure I must confess one more dusty road It would be just a road too long I just can't, I just can't, I just can't seem to get started Don't have the heart to live in the fast lane All that is past and gone And there ain't nothing you can do about it Welcome to Migraine Reviews. This is Migraine. It's rice. <laughs> Get it. Oh no. I'll do that again. I come from Casey, Missouri. And I got my kicks out of room. Truck stop from Butte to M.O. Motown, New Old Alabama. From the good Canada and east of Savannah. From Tampa to Old Okamo. I once ran the Indy 500. I must confess I'm impressed how I did it. I wonder how close that I came. Sick and sensation. I was the top of the line, out of sight, out of mind. So much for fortune and fame. The camera doesn't have any battery, but it does. It's not turning off. What does it mean? You're flashing. You're like, is there no space? Once took a Texan to a wedding. Once took a Texan to a wedding. He kept forgetting his loneliness, letting his thoughts turn to. I took a man to a grave 
Welcome to my grain reviews. One stroke was surf at the sunset. There were bikinis and buns, there were weenies. Bellini just couldn't forget. Kiko, let's go up to Zuma. Kiko, let's go up to Zuma. From Zuma to Yuma, the rumor was I had a ham in the lay of the land. On a reservation. Ooh, ooh. Who would believe they would love me and leave on a bus back to old Santa Fe? Once in an Indian nation, I took the kids on the skids with the hope he was happy to lie here and say, You're worthless. Crazy Earnings Amazing Emporium of Total Bargain Madness. It's the right address. What a day. 